Hi. So I'm back, and my music is super loud. Um, so I just got back from the gym. I forced myself to go today. It's the first time that I've had the chance to since earlier this week. Um, again, wasn't really feeling it. I was really super tired today. Um, I was falling asleep pretty much at my desk. But I'm glad I went. It was nice to kind of get moving again. Now I'm actually more awake than I was earlier in the day. Um, I just took a whole bunch of my measurements because it's, it's been about a month. So I'm really excited to report some changes. So I'm, I'm going to be switching back and forth. But bear with me. So I've lost um, on my waist 5 inches in the last month. Yes, I'm very excited about that. Um, in my hips, I lost, I'm pretty sure I wasn't measuring the right thing. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I, I measured my hips as my butt. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I'm still at 42. Um, my waist is 35, or no, yeah, no, I'm really confused right now, um, no, my hips, I measured at 36, and then, like, my butt, 42, so, I'm really excited about those measurements, um, means that I actually, you know, have made a change and made a difference in my body just in the last month, just from working out consistently, well, ish, three weeks really consistently with the last two weeks kind of being off. And is there really that many weeks? In, I'm not even, no, I'm, I'm not going to do the math. Um, so it, it is a nice re-motivator to stay on top of it and stay with it and keep drinking these nasty things. Crap. I didn't buy the 100 calorie one. Oops. Um, but I am, I think, about 129 days out from the Tough Mudder, um, and now the weather looks like it's going to start warming up, so that means I have no more excuses, and then I have to go back outside. Um, this morning, I almost got frostbite on my hand from having my, my phone out in, on my phone this morning, because I'm a millennial. Deal with it. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, it was what, 19 degrees outside? Yeah. And that was just for two seconds to check the time. And then I walk out of work today. It was 50 degrees. I was so excited. So I am going to try to get some runs out in outside. Um, I really do need to buy my new shoes. Um, I'm still not sure what shoes I should buy. Like, that's my struggle. Like, because I have a bad, bad knee and bad hips. Like, I'm really, I'm I'm worried about buying the wrong shoes. Like, I want to invest in good shoes. Um, but I don't want to invest too money in a pair of shoes I don't know if are going to be good shoes. Like, it's just, it's this whole thing. And the internet, like, inundates you with so much information that you have too much information that you don't know what's going on. Um, today at the gym, I didn't go in with a plan because I wasn't planning on going. Ah. <laughs> Which is never a good idea because... I always feel like I, I jip myself in my workouts because I'm like, eh, I'm done. I, I don't need to do anymore because then it starts getting crowded and you start getting frustrated. But I did some arm work today and I can barely pick up my backpack. So I feel like I did something at least. Um, I almost killed a bunch of the high schoolers. Yay. There was, there was like five high school boys who had taken over the whole like weight section. Um, I was looking for... 25 pound dumb dumbbell. I was gonna do um, some hammer curls. I think I, I think I said that right. Um, and I kept looking around. I was like, where in the world are all the weights? And then I look over at them. Not only had they taken all the weights off the rack, they had them spread out all over the floor. I was like, are you serious? So I walk over. I was just like, are you using them all? They like they jump back and they're like, no ma'am, yes ma'am, you can have some ma'am. Oh, we'll put them back ma'am. And I was like, all right, I just want those. <laughs> just walked away. I felt really bad, but you don't do that. That's that's gym courtesy. It's especially in a small gym like mine is. It's not a big location. You don't do that. At least that's my understanding. Like take all your weights off of your freaking 
barbell, when you're done with it, put stuff away. And men, or not men, people, because I don't know if men just do it. Put the weights back where the numbers say. It's not that hard. Like, people are putting 90 pounds up on the top part, um, barbells up on the top part, and I was like, yeah, let me get at, let me get at that. I can totally pull that down. I'm just done with people today. I'm done with people this week. But, side note, um, so part of the reason I've been so MIA is that I have been reinvesting in myself, my future, outside of, um, staying fit. So, it should be interesting to see if I can find, well, strive to find a balance between it. Um, I want to become a social media professional. And, you know, I had an informational interview. It was absolutely stellar. Um, you know, she was telling me, you know, start a blog, do this, do that. So, it's really going to be a, a, a real investment. So, I really have to stick with this now um, of my time. And I, I started doing some graphic design on the side again. So, I mean, I, I just, that's, that's what I have to do. I have to find a balance. And that's what I was talking about in the last couple of videos is that, you know, it's not as easy as just being a gym rat. Because um, I don't want to be a gym rat. Like, whatever, it has no real appeal to me. But I do want to actually get in shape. And as the results have shown, and, and I should have weighed myself, but I didn't, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I have made progress and I have made change in just the last month. And I utilize um, my fitness pal. I'm, I'm not as on it as I was anymore because I'm not ca counting calories anymore. But the last time that I had entered my, um, my measurements, I'm back down to those. So that tells you how much weight you can gain when you're not trying and you're not consistently eating well. And, you know, the holidays. Wow, what a difference. I mean, literally five inches on my, on my waist. Um, just from eating like crap on the holidays and drinking like crap on the holidays. So, n lesson learned. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna beat myself up for living my life. But that it's just interesting find. Anyways, I'm I'm done rambling. I promise. Um, and I guess I will see you guys later. Again, go to um, Wounded Warrior Project. Donate if you can. Every dollar helps. That's what the Tough Mudder is for. Um, make sure you go to um, my Tumblr page to find that information. The Tumblr page will be down below. Okay, have a good night.